All right, guys, welcome back. We're here back at this Dodge Durango with the recall for the alternator. Yes, I spoke about this yesterday, guys, the importance of getting it done. Here's one of the ramifications, I want to say. Here's what could happen if you prolong it or not get it done. Well, you already know you're going to get an alternator. This alternator is burnt up. It was sparking. She said she saw fire under the hood and everything. Okay, that alternator damage. Uh, FCA has already taken blame for that. They have issued out a recall T36 in response to this problem. Okay, so uh, here's the thing you're gonna run in. Here's the problem you're gonna run into, guys. If you prolong or wait to get this done, number one, you're gonna you may be out of a tow bill. Okay, because your car will have to get towed in. You may need a belt. All right, because this belt that alternator obviously froze up. It won't even turn. Of course, you're gonna run your battery. I don't know. How well your battery you had in it was how good it was, but we have to replace the battery. Okay, uh, and I don't know if FCA is going to pay for that. Uh, on this particular car now, <laughs> we get no response from the computer, guys. So I have to put a computer on here. I can't even speak. The computer won't even power on, guys. And I have power supply and ground going to it. Uh, I use my breakout box to test. Okay, as you can see, I spliced in into the harness with my breakout box so i think it was a uh, all my power supplies was there and all my ground circuit was there but the computer would not boot up so that computer is dead a lot of things this can cause guys that's why it's imperative that if that's why it's imperative that you get this done in a timely fashion now this recall is oh Okay, this re 2011, that's almost 10 years. Okay, guys, this recall been out 10 years. If you own, I'm going to put in the description the vehicles that this applies to. I'm going to put in the description of the vehicles that this recall applies to. Okay, but guys, you can't. And now this is a recall, another recall. Um. Uh, b62 this recall has already been done but they have problems with the relay so we got a new and improved setup here we're using a new relay and a housing to cover the relay okay so i gotta splice this in that's all free to the customer guys keep in mind recalls are free to the customer is uh car maker's way of saying ah, we'll take blame for this because this is a safety issue Recalls are pretty much safety related. Okay, so I have some work to do. I got to get this alternator put on fairly easy. I'm not going to film it. I have a video you can watch right here on how to replace the alternator. I have a PCM I'm going to install and program. Guys, these computers are naked. This is just a body. Okay, <laughs> this is typically, um, this is merely a case, a body, no software in it. All right. Now, yes, they're going to issue a part number so you'll be able to use the same body style, okay? But um, I would have to, in essence, download the software from FCA servers and uh, use my scan tool or my interface to upload the software into the vehicle, into this computer. Okay, so I have to install it first and then uh, power up my system. But first, can't do none of this. Well, I shouldn't do none of this until... I get proper voltage. Uh, that's essential, guys. You got to have. In fact, you can't even program a car uh, controller or flash a controller without adequate voltage, guys. So battery voltage is essential. And I got to get that short out of the uh, alternator. I literally had to unplug this alternator because it back was backfeeding power back uh, to my jump box. I went to jump this car off and I had a big, huge spark. Okay. So once I took the connection off um and the battery supply away of course we don't have that issue but i have work to do guys i just want to stress the importance of getting recall t36 and there was another one. i'm gonna list them in the description stress the importance of getting that done okay guys let me get to work i'll probably fire the camera back up later on and discuss the pcm installation but we'll see thanks for watching
still connected, okay? So let's get this battery out. All right, we got the battery removed. Now we can get the alternate off, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. I have the old alternator out. Here's the new one that I'm going back in with. A couple of things of note you need to keep in mind. Uh, the way you had this uh, position terminal before you remove it, just memorize how you had it, the alternator facing when you get ready to take this off, all right? So other than that, I don't want to bore y'all with the installation. So I'm going to put the new alternator in and we're going to complete this repair i'm almost 100 percent sure this is my problem because i diagnosed it and tested it uh by the book okay so that's all i have man thanks for watching comment subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video